the best pure hitter of his generation, a five-time gold glover, seven-time silver slugger, and eight-time batting champion, which is tied for second all-time, only behind Ty Cobb. He was also a career 338 hitter, the highest since Ted Williams retired after the 1960 season. And lastly, a first ballot Hall of Famer. Today, we're talking about Tony Gwynn. If you're an OG subscriber of the channel, you probably remember that I made a video on Tony Gwynn a little under three years ago, which was focused on his career as a whole. Today, we're focusing in on his dominance of the Braves' big three. Greg Maddox, John Smoltz, and Tom Glavin made up that historically great starting rotation. Those three pitchers, all of whom were teammates from 1993 to 2002, helped guide the Braves to nine postseason appearances and won the World Series in 1995. Smoltz won the NLCS MVP and Glavin won the World Series MVP. That's how impactful that trio was to the Braves in not only their World Series run, but in general throughout the course of their career with the Braves. All three of the trio would eventually go on to become Hall of Famers. Maddox and Glavin would be inducted together in 2014, with Smoltz getting inducted the following year. All three were inducted on their first year of eligibility. While they may have dominated the majority of their competition throughout their MLB careers, there was one player in particular that they dreaded facing. That player was Tony Gwynn. Out of the three, the pitcher to fare the best against Gwynn was Tom Glavin, which makes sense considering that it was a lefty-lefty matchup. One thing that needs to be made very clear, however, is that Tony Gwynn by no means struggled against left-handed pitching. In fact, he batted 325 for his career against Southpaws, posting an OPS above 800 and walked 71 more times than he struck out against them. Wow. Those are incredible numbers for a left-handed hitter, but that's the level of excellence that Tony Gwynn showcased throughout his 20-year career. But let's get back to that matchup, Glavin versus Gwynn. In nearly 100 at-bats against Tom Glavin, Tony Gwynn tallied six extra base hits, two of those being home runs, and hit 303 against him. Glavin struck out Gwynn the most of the trio, twice. Not too shabby if you ask me. The next matchup we will discuss is against none other than The Professor, otherwise known as Greg Maddox. In over 100 plate appearances against Maddox, Gwynn hit 415 against him, going 39 for 94, collecting nine extra base hits, and never striking out. You heard that right. In nearly 100 at-bats, Maddox was not able to strike out Tony Gwynn one time. That's astounding. To put the cherry on top, among players with a minimum of 70 plate appearances, Tony Gwynn had the highest average of any opponent Greg Maddox faced throughout his 23-year career. The last matchup of the Braves trio is without a doubt the craziest one of them all. Tony Gwynn absolutely owned John Smoltz throughout his career. Gwynn hit 444 against him going 32 for 72, and hitting 10 extra base hits with two of them being homers. He struck out just one time. I'm pretty sure that John Smoltz had some nightmares over the years about facing Gwynn, because those stats don't even feel legitimate. Luckily for Smoltz, it was only 75 plate appearances, and I put only in quotes because that's still an extensive sample size. Even John Smoltz has acknowledged the challenge of facing Gwynn. During a broadcast, John Smoltz explained just how hard it was to get Gwynn out throughout his career it got to the point that John Smoltz started throwing a knuckleball to see if he could fool Gwynn. Tony took it and then laughed. Smoltz, an all-time great in his own right, couldn't help but tip his cap and continue to get rocked by Tony Gwynn. Combined against the Braves' big three, Tony Gwynn hit an absurd 381 with 25 extra base hits against them for his career. He struck out just three times in 270 plate appearances. To put that into perspective, Tony Gwynn on average got 679 plate appearances in a single season. If he kept that pace over an entire 162 game season, Tony Gwynn would have struck out just 8 times. The least he struck out in a full season was 14 times at age 39. It's unreal to even fathom something that absurd. It's like Tony Gwynn leveled up whenever he played the Braves all time great trio. And that's saying something considering this is a guy who led his league in batting average 8 times throughout his career. Tony Gwynn was something else man. Make sure to leave a like and consider subscribing if you guys enjoyed. Let me know in the comments down below what your thoughts are, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Later.